This particular question will need a lot of visualization. I'll try and help you with diagrams, but the onus of visualization lies on you. First of all, I'm given a square A, B, C, D. So let's say this is my square A, B, C, D. At the center, there is a vertical tower O, P. So if I look at the top view, this is O and a tower is standing here. Now, H and B are the length of OP and AB respectively. So let's say this length AB is B and OP, I'm drawing the tower separately, OP. This is of height H. I also know that the angle APB is 60 degree. So let me draw that as well. So this is the top of the tower P. This is my side AB which is given to me in length as B and this angle is given to me as 60 degree. Now the top of the tower, since the tower is at the center, it will be equidistant from A and B. So these two sides have to be equal, which essentially means my triangle is an equilateral triangle of side B. Now, if I join OA, that is the center of the square to one of the vertices OA, I have the value of the height of the tower as HOP. AP, I just found out from the equilateral triangle is B. How much will be OA? Well, the diagonal, the full diagonal for a square will be B root 2. So half of that OA will be B by root 2. And this is a right angle triangle OPA. So this by Pythagoras will give me H square plus b by root 2 whole square or b square by 2 will be equal to hypotenuse square which is b square. So that essentially gives me h square is b square minus b square by 2 or b square by 2 or it gives me b square is equal to 2h square. Is that given to me in one of the options? 2b square is equal to h square? No. 2h square is equal to b square. Yes, it is given to me as option b. And that will be my answer. Thank you.